Here with Eric Goyito Perez. Uh, you have a fight coming up July 31st against Francisco uh, Rivera, a guy who is a really good stand-up fighter. And uh, when I look at this matchup, I, I see it as a matchup as two guys in there and just throwing bombs and, and really slugging it out, right? Two, two crazy Mexicans, you know? Uh, and the people love that fight because it's two Mexicans go there and I think both have the, the same style, you know, going there and I started to throw a lot of punches. Now, who's the, the guy who's better in there? You or him in terms of, of your guys' stand-up style? Or, or do you feel that not only with the punches, but you're going to want to throw kicks and, and, and take it to the ground as well? Uh, uh, all the time, I think, and I know I'm, I'm the best. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more faster. I'm more explosive. And I, I need to show everybody that. Uh, I, right now, I can talk a lot, and I say, "Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more faster, I'm more, more better." For you gonna see in July 30, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna bring a good fight, a Mexican fight, and I'm gonna bring, bring the show for the peoples. <laughs> you know, what's the thing that you feel that you've improved on the most uh, from your last fight? Uh, I think I improved a lot of moving, I improved like I'm more faster, more like. I have more experience, and I don't know. My, my last fight, my last opponent, he, he was a tough guy, a tough kickboxing guy, and I try to do like good st striking, good takedown. So I, I, I know I'm I'm better in every way, like jujitsu, wrestling, and striking. What did you make of the last fight that he had, Rivera? What did you think of the last fight that Rivera had? How did he look to you? The last fight was Brad Pickett. Uh, I think it was good. Uh, Rivera did throw a lot of punches. Brad Pickett just do like it was just back and forth, back and forth, more smart. And and I think Rivera is is scared. You know? uh, he throws good punches, power punches, and he can knock knock him out everybody. Looking that you train here at Alliance, you got a lot of professionals, but you got Dominic Cruz, a, a guy that's known for his speed. Uh, looking at him and training with him, how do you feel that you've learned the most from him? Well, uh, you know, Dom Dominic Cruz has a lot of experience. Uh, he knows wh what he's doing. You know, he's only one guy. How the the same style is just him, like good moving and good good speed, and I'm learning everything. Like. I think for my camp, my work, my wake up, and my how, how I do my camps, how I do my moves, and I learn a lot. <laughs> how is it sparring him and trying to, to catch him and hit him? I, I never spar with Dominic. All the time, like wrestling, mm -hmm. it's hard. It's yeah. hard to take him down, and it's hard to, to wrestle. Every time it has a lot of conditioning, mm -hmm. so it's, it's good. <laughs> Switching topics, uh, what do you make of this Mayweather versus McGregor thing? And do you think it's good for MMA or not good for MMA? You know, uh, when, when I say, when I say, uh, the, Me the Mexicans say, uh, zapateros a sus zapatos, you know? <laughs> the, Mex the, the boxing is boxing. MMA is MMA. I think if Mayweather comes to MMA, uh, my weather comes to MMA, McGregor is gonna be beat him up. If McGregor goes to boxing and boxing and my weather, uh, my weather is gonna knock McGregor out. So I don't know. It's, it's it's different sports, you know. Boxing, MMA. I don't think it's the the same the same style, uh, and I don't think it's the same way. Is it good for the sport? Do you think? Uh, right now and this time, I don't know. Uh, I think it, it's good for money. It's good for all the people's watching. It's good for publicity for MMA because uh, boxing is so big. Boxing is is growing a lot for MMA. Awesome. And the last five years is growing and growing. So yeah, maybe it's good for MMA. Instead of McGregor, wouldn't you want to see him fight like a Golovkin or, or a Canelo again? Uh, my weather and, and Canelo. Yeah. I think Canelo has a love can. I think a love can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Canelo needs more more experience. Uh, it's John fighter. You know, he's 25, 26, 25. So I think one year more. And I don't know. I think Canelo is too big, too big to for the speed of the my weather. My weather, he can move faster. You know, you know. Uh, it's one thing. It can be my weather. It's the time. When he's when he's got older, you know, got this speed, maybe Canelo is gonna 
you get, when they fight Canelo, Canelo maybe can catch it. You being Mexican and coming from a, a long tradition of uh, Mexican fighters, the Mexican fighters are known as fighters that don't quit, uh, that fight hard and fight with their heart. What do you make when Canelo drops the belt, the middleweight title, with the whole Golovkin situation? How, how do you personally feel about that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I can't say nothing because I don't know. I, I'm I'm not Canelo. I'm not in his head. I don't know Canelo. I don't know why he do this thing. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I can say nothing. <laughs> Canelo Golovkin. Who wins? Why? It's gonna be interesting. Why? <laughs> I think Canelo. Uh, Kanalkin uh, has more power and uh, it's big. Yeah. It's big, have power, have speed, and have experience. Mm -hmm. Canelo is a big name, you know. Uh, it's inter interesting if I, yeah, I don't know who win. Canelo, maybe. <laughs> because he's Mexican. <laughs>